what is up guys welcome back like to my youtube channel my name is stacy uh, thank you back for tuning in back again and uh, yeah so today we're gonna be talking about the challenges i have faced mostly as a female travel creator and yeah these are challenges maybe from the people who are hiring me to create content from them like uh the challenges generally from the community from the public generally from my family my friends generally personally yeah things i have faced as a female micro creator not an influencer because i'm not an influencer i'm a content creator <laughs> so first and foremost what's a what's a content creator a content creator because you know i have approached like lots of hotels lots of like uh, traveling facilities traveling companies in western kenya per se because outside western kenya people have the idea of content creation they, they know how this thing works but here in western kenya per se i have had trouble like so much trouble just convincing someone like i can be of help to your hotel to your business to create content for you to post on your social media because people like do not get the idea behind like content creation so yeah that is exactly the first challenge but i'm just giving a brief definition of what content creation is so um the first challenge i have experienced as a content creator is like the the belief that uh content creators or mostly female travel content creators uh from the people who we are actually approaching to employer is like you're desperate like you want to travel for free you want to get freebies from people and you know that's not how it works you're actually offering a service to them you've gone of course before you offer content creation services you've gone through your potential clients page you've seen uh, the kind of content they have you've seen the kind of photos they have and you obviously want to spice it up or to give them a better version of what they have but people here do not understand that they just think you want freebies from them you want to experience like they have not grasped the concept of content creation yet and that is one of the challenges i ha i have experienced when getting into this travel content creation the second thing is that you get all kinds of perverted people and i'm telling you people especially especially me i don't know how you guys got successful or how you guys managed to build hotels to build things and the way you guys behave just like the first time it will be okay i will speak from yeah two scenarios which i've had the first time you'll approach them they will act extremely professional like you won't even try to like you won't second guess yourself or you won't second guess them you'll just know ah this is our client uh client and um, client based relationship not anything else but then that will be the surface part so as your experience goes because you know content creation is not a one day job you you will like be meeting and talking about stuff talking about how you're gonna create the content how you're gonna post for them if you've agreed to post for them or if you're just gonna shoot give them the pictures the videos then they post for themselves you know things like that so it's a continuous process and through that you get to learn your client you get to understand them and i'm telling you guys i've been disappointed by almost half of the people i have worked with yeah and i know some of them might be watching this so this is so you know your behavior you change or, or you know they have this perception if you're into travel or if you're a girl into travel like you are a certain kind of person like you are you are loose things like that so they will start offering you things they will start just like throwing hints here and there so i just worked for them once and i cut my ties with them because I cannot continue doing stuff like that because if it's traveling I just know I will get another client because I believe in my work I have seen potential in my work and I just know if it's not you it's gonna be another person like it's not a must it is you so secondly I will speak about another thing 
I've experienced from like these employers who own hotels and things and stuff. You know, so let me just tell you a story. Once I was in a video call, we had agreed that that person is gonna video call me to discuss because he's not around in Kenya, he's abroad. So we had agreed we were gonna video call and then during the video call they the person like doesn't speak anything about the hotel the airbnb he owns he just speaks some other funny funny stories and you're just wondering like is this worth spending my bundles on because you know i don't have internet i have to buy bundles and you're here talking about other things which are not related to the thing which we were supposed to talk about so what is the point of this thing and then he goes around showing you like the kind of drinks he has the kind of house he lives at so that you can be like interested and you know me most of the people who know me like you cannot impress me with the things you have like <laughs> i've seen all of those things so you cannot impress me like with that with like high amount of money that cannot impress me so those are the kind of challenges and things I have experienced as a female travel creator. I don't know if male creators experience things like this. Okay, uh, the next thing, the next challenge I have experienced is like from, from maybe the, my friends. Because as a travel female travel creator, they see you traveling, they see you going places and they think, oh my god, this girl has money, where does he get, she get money, she has a sponsor nowadays. And you're just like, no, that's not how it works. Because if you get a content creation job, you have to travel to that place. You have to take pictures. Like That is the whole point of content creation. To take videos, take pictures, post them. And you know, if you do this, people will see like you're showing off or you're trying to create some attention to yourself. Like you're rich, so you're showing off your money. Ugh. And another thing is from the community you know they have this certain perception about girls who are only seen in hotels they will think like you're you're they have a perception of girls who are always seen in hotels in big big places you know some you of course i know there are other people who who do this for like attention who have sponios who take them to these places but others like me this is like a part-time job to me like seriously like create time to understand content creation um you know you know me when i'm sitting through the camera i tend to appear a little bit elderly or like older but when people see me in person they see this like young high school girl and you're just like oh dear and i'm just like gosh gosh Kwani, how do i look on pictures and videos and how do i look like personally <laughs> I tend to wonder because people tend to meet me, especially my clients, and then they are like, Kai ni wewe? Wah? Then they start picking up excuses like, let's create another meeting for, for another session. And then that's how it goes because they think you cannot perform just because you have a small body or just because you're a girl or just because you, you look young. They think you cannot offer them quality services for their work you know things like that and that is just another challenge i have experienced as a female a young female travel creator and i would just like for people to just be open-minded especially here in western kenya people should just learn how to be open-minded like try to accept this because you know um this is how this is rev revolutionary content creation is revolutionary and this is how people are marketing their stuff right now so if you're a hotel if you're a, a travel destination you could take advantage especially of micro content creators because us right now we do not like charge extremely like the way you would hire a Ziad to work for you we charge like less or we can even accept complimentary stays rather than you paying us just in exchange for quality pictures quality videos a review of your hotel a review of your food a review of this particular destination you know stuff like that so yeah another thing another thing or another challenge i have experienced is that people tend to want like the high quality content you know like 4k kind of quality content and you're just telling them like 
let me ask you guys a question when you go to like a uh, a content creator's page there is this asian is it is he is he a nation or an indian who creates like extremely extremely 4k content you know in some phones the content can't even load but you see there are some clients who want that kind of content or who expect you're gonna give them that kind of content and you know content creation is about telling the truth because people will actually relate with you talking to them feeling like they can actually be in that particular destination you know what i kind of think of high quality content like extremely high quality content like 4k videos is like they look like movies they look like fantasies and people don't relate with fantasies people relate with real life you know and as for me i offer like 1080 or the most is 1440 quality videos you know so that people can actually relate it because me if i watch a video and i kind of see it's 4k i will say ah, this is actually an advert this is not even a real thing like people just staged this thing tell people something like this or you tell my some clients things like this and they would just think you're just gonna like rip them off you're just there to con them you know that is precisely why i decided not to do content creation like full time I decided to do it just part time. When I get time, I can do content creation, I can do voiceovers, I can do stuff like that. Not necessarily full time because it is something you cannot actually fully depend on as of now. Because where I'm living in Western Kenya, people are not yet open to that kind of uh, initiative. So, yeah, we are gradually building upon it and people are gradually starting to accept it. Like, yeah, those are just about the challenges I thought I would share out today. If you're a creator and you've had some more challenges in your creator life, in your creator job, and you feel like you can comment down below, comment down below. I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, just state some of the experiences you've had, if they're good, if they're bad. Yeah, I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, you can comment down on my dis my description but on my comment section. And I'll be sure to check it out. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching my video until here. I will see you guys next time. My name is Stacy. And till next time, goodbye. Peace.